Many people didn't believe Stephen Curry and the Golden State Warriors would ever return to the NBA Finals, but they did it and triumphed once more. Curry remembered a particular occasion on ESPN when two analysts predicted he would never win another championship after receiving his fourth ring and first Finals MVP. In his post-game news conference, Steph held up the zero and reminisced about the days when ESPN used to do it. Steph did not allow the first take crew to get away with their incorrectly aged prediction, frequently reminding them that he sees everything. Today's video will be about everyone who doubted that the Warriors couldn't win the chip last season. Before we go any further, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting NBA content. Let's keep rolling! Many others declared Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors dead two seasons ago, so Kendrick Perkins and company weren't the only ones who didn't believe in them. Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, and Draymond Green returning to full health was the winning formula required to secure the championship last season. This trio has shown themselves working hard to maintain their status as one of the all-time illustrious sports dynasties. Their victory couldn't be achieved without Steph Curry's excellence, as Steve Kerr correctly stated in his post-game news conference, which is why he never doubted they could recover this form. For some people, it was unfortunate that their skepticism was apparent and publicly displayed on television. Steph, the self-declared petty king, made sure they were reminded of it. Curry said, So we hear all that, and you carry it all and you try to maintain your purpose not let it distract you, but you carry that weight and to get here, it all comes out. It's special. Let's now see what some of these people said about the Warriors winning the championship. Number 1. Kendrick Perkins Kendrick Perkins, an American former professional basketball player and a sports analyst for ESPN, made some comments about the future of the Warriors in making any NBA Finals. He said, You're talking about the Warriors winning championships, and what I'm telling you is that Kevin Durant is not walking through that door no time soon. Okay, when the Warriors won their first championship and blew the 3 to 1 lead to the Cleveland Cavaliers and LeBron James, you know what? They went out there and said, Swagger, since you over there rolling your eyes and doing all that old hissy fitness stuff. They went out and said, You know what we have to get better? We see that this window is closing. We got to get a superstar like Kevin Durant to come to help us to deliver more championships. It's not another superstar out there, Swagger. This is what I'm saying. It's no knock on Steph Curry. There's no knock on what he brings to the table, and I'm just saying the window has closed for the Warriors. I'm sure Big Perk is eating those words now, as the Warriors proved him wrong in so many ways. Number 2. Dominique Foxworth Ex-NFL player and current ESPN analyst Dominique Foxworth was asked in an interview, How many more championships do you believe Steph Curry and the Warriors will win? Dominique commented that, I think that all this pettiness is just proof they're going to rest on their laurels, so I'll answer it with all of them. Double zeros, zero goggles. Steph Curry and the Warriors are done winning championships, and they'll have to go away with the measly four. The utter disrespect Foxworth showed here was appalling, not even giving the Warriors a chance. Number 3. Stephen A. Smith Stephen A. Smith is an American sports television personality, sports journalist, and sports radio host. When he was asked if the Golden State Dynasty is done, he said, Yes, it is, and we all know how I feel about Clay, and I rave about him at every turn, being one of the top five shooters this game has ever seen, arguably top two, and I still feel that way. It's not about your talent, it's about fatigue and attrition. There were times last year you all looked utterly worn out, but here's what it comes down to. Kevin Durant is gone, you brought in Willie Cauley-Steen, D'Angelo Russell, and Andre Iguodala is gone as well. I think that's a significant component they're going to miss, and the Lakers are so formidable. The Clippers are so formidable, they are my two favorites, LeBron with Anthony Davis. Kawhi with Paul George, but I look at the teams in Los Angeles as having the edge over the Golden State Warriors and Klay Thompson even if he is healthy. Well, we all know how that turned out. The Lakers imploded last season and Kawhi didn't even see the floor. This upcoming season also is a huge question mark for both LA teams. Number 4. Nick Wright In an interview with First Things First Media on the Golden State Warriors winning the championship, Nick Wright said, Unfortunately for my friends in the Bay Area, the answer to that is obviously and unequivocally yes, and it didn't end when Kevin Durant left. It was on life support when Clay tore his ACL and Kevin Durant left. 
Still, I said on this very show the day after the Warriors forfeited their one actual ability to add another star when they traded D'Angelo Russell to get Andrew Wiggins. A pick that we would never see Steph Curry in the finals again, and nothing has changed to change my opinion on that. The Warriors had one path forward, packaging their top five picks this year and D'Angelo Russell this summer for a legitimate impact player. Instead, they took an alternative path which takes D'Angelo Russell to trade him for a far inferior player and get a pick that will never help you during Steph Curry's prime. And it's a wrap. Now you will have 33, 31, and 31. Draymond, whose game is not aging well, Clay, who's coming off a torn ACL, and Stefan, 33 years old with no calf flexibility. Let's now see what some of these people had to say after the Warriors' victory. Number 1. Kendrick Perkins After Kendrick Perkins saw the Warriors' victory over the Celtics in the NBA Finals, he had this to say in an interview. It is part of it, whatever you need for motivation. When they go on to win it, guess what? You have to eat that. When we won the championship in 2008, Wallace was like, look, they don't win the championship, they don't have a point guard and a center. During my first interview, I couldn't wait to remind Rashid about the words he said about our team. It's part of the game, I'm happy I'm part of the legacy. Quite the change in tone, am I right? Number 2. Dominique Foxworth Dominique wasn't too pleased with the outcome of the finals. In an interview where he was asked about the future of the Warriors dynasty after winning the NBA finals, he said, I think we're prisoners of the moment again. I don't believe this team has dynasty potential. I, like none of us, thought they would make it to the finals before the playoffs started, so stop it. I think this team brings back this core again next year. We're not talking about them like this is going to be another three or four year run. Number 3. Nick Wright in an interview after the Warriors' victory in the NBA Finals, Nick made some comments about his previous remarks on the Golden State Warriors. He said, Yes, I have regrets. I made some errors here, and I went against my nature, which is to be obstinate and honorable. Even in the face of potentially being wrong, I had said Warriors because Steph would be the best player on the court, and the Celtics would turn the ball over too much. I didn't trust them in clutch time. All of that happened, and yet, I'm wrong because I flip-flopped. So, of course, I have regrets, and the fact that I have to look at Chris Broussard's stupid face. And perfectly manicured goatees with that little smirk on it. So, yeah, I don't know how we're going to fill the rest of this segment. Yes, how much should Nick regret? Do you know how much I should regret it? Take the amount of money I lost gambling on this series and multiply it by 10 emotional points. And what do you guys think? Will the Warriors win another finals next season? Will they prove their doubters wrong once again? I would love to hear your opinion, so please let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing NBA content.